Hey, it's me. Today we are doing Mega Markle inspired wedding makeup. Now, before we get started, I want to briefly talk about the makeup and also the dress. Let's start with the dress because I was freaking obsessed. My friend and I for the past few months had been talking about what we thought she was going to go with and this was exactly and I'm talking exactly what we envisioned. We said long sleeve and super clean and I was just a huge fan of it probably because it reminded me much of my own wedding dress. I can't tell you how many people messaged me on Instagram and they were like oh my gosh it reminded me so much of your wedding dress. Will came home from the hospital and was like you don't know how many girls told me last night that Meghan Markle's wedding dress reminded them of yours and so you know I kind of felt really special uh but no hands down in my opinion the most oh breathtaking classic not too over the top and you know what it really pisses me off that people were dogging it for being really simple have they not seen her style? Have they not seen her everyday look? She is not an over-the-top person. She's a very classic and timeless beauty. So go back to the commoner lifestyle, people, if you didn't like the dress. Whew, I'm getting heated. Makeup, again, was exactly what I was expecting. She's a very natural beauty, and she has a lot of freckles. And I think her makeup artist made a very smart move in just going with a very lightweight foundation. A, because when you see her in interviews or paparazzi shots, she never has a ton of foundation on. And it was reported that, you know, even on her days off, she just doesn't wear foundation. So if you're the type of person that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, and then on your wedding day, you have a ton of makeup on, that's probably going to be a shock to a lot of people. Also, she has freckles. And when you have freckles on your face and on your body and you mask your face and you just have this clean slate going on, there's a really big disconnect because you're going to have all the freckles on your chest, on your arms, everywhere else, and then your face is going to look really smooth. So I think the makeup artist made the right choice by going with a super lightweight foundation. Now, I will say during the ceremony, it seems like she didn't put on a lip color and that might be just so you know, she didn't get lipstick on Prince Harry when they had their first kiss. Well, not first kiss, but first kiss as husband and wife. But it did seem like afterwards when they went outside and they took photos, she had put a really light pink lip on. So overall, huge fan of the dress, huge fan of the makeup, and you can't tell me otherwise, people. All right, so this is my recreation. Obviously, it's not identical to hers, but you know, it's the best that I could do. So if you're interested, then let's go ahead and start. To give my skin a nice soft candlelit effect, I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. She had a nice glow to her skin, but it wasn't an overly highlighted glow. So this is a really nice product to use as a primer. Now for the face product or the base, I'm using the Airbrush Skin Tint from number seven. This is a really interesting product because it's almost just like a tinted primer for your skin, but how can I describe it in a better way for you? It's like Benefit Professional, but with a tint. So it's really great for those of you who have freckles and you don't want to mask them because it smooths your skin, it gets rid of the pores, and it gives you a little bit of coverage, but it's nothing over the top. So I would definitely recommend a product like this if you do have freckles and you're wanting to go super natural on your wedding day. So to spot conceal, I'm just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I did read that her makeup artists use concealer only underneath her eyes, so I tried to keep it to a bare minimum when it came to concealing. So honestly, I just used a concealer that was my actual skin tone. I mixed a couple of shades, and that was pretty much it. For powder, I'm using Lorac Perfection. This is just a nice lightweight baked powder. I read that her makeup artist only set her T-zone, which would explain why she had a nice glow all over her face. So I just lightly dusted my face with that. For bronzer, again, I'm using something that's really lightweight. This is a bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It just comes in her smoky eye palette, and it's just a really lightweight natural bronzer for my skin tone. Obviously, you can adjust the tone depending on how dark or light your skin is. I feel like they went pretty subtle with the bronzer on Megan, so again, I'm just adding a small amount to make my face look a little bit more, you know, bronzy, obviously. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure that I read her makeup artist used a cream blush on her, so I just got this cream blush stick from NYX. It's like the perfect shade of pink, and it has a bit of a reflective tone to it. And I just popped that on the apples of my cheeks and slightly brought it up to my temples, and it just gave the most gorgeous flush to the cheeks. So this step is going to be optional. It's going to be for those of you who want to mimic the look of freckles. I'm just taking a pencil from Makeup Forever. This is their Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao. It's a nice cool tone pencil and I'm just dotting it all over where you would naturally have freckles. And I'm simply just dotting it and then taking my finger and blending it out to make sure none of the dots look harsh. And it's really important to go with a cool tone pencil whether you're using a lip liner or an actual eye pencil. Just make sure it has a nice cool base to it. So I think there was a bit of a debate going on as to what her eye makeup was about. Was it smoky? Was it natural with lashes? And this is just my take on it, kind of just from what I observed. I just used a nice matte brown as a transitional color all over my lid. And then to me, it looked like she had a really dark charcoal or a soft black on the mobile lid. So I literally just took a really soft black color on a blending brush and applied that to my lower lid. And I kind of applied it a little bit more on the messy side just because I feel like she had that imperfect perfect look so two colors literally a brown and a soft black and I just kind of mesh those together to create just this soft kind of subtle smoke I guess is what I would describe it as so I did tight line I noticed that her makeup artist tight line her lower lid with black that was not my personal favorite but I went ahead and did it for this look. Uh, every time I zoomed in, I just saw black liner in the tight line. So I just applied a small amount. And then I took the Ardell Lash Trios. To me, I definitely think that she had some individual lashes on. Uh, it just, her lashes just look so full and fluttery. So I'm just going to use the trios. You can use individuals. And I just stacked those about six or seven per eye and just got a really nice natural kind of fluttery effect. I read that her makeup artist used a tinted lip balm on her, but I'm going to use something a little bit different or just a combination that's different to suit my lips a little bit better. I just used a nude sticks pencil in the shade Whisper to line my lips, and then I took a pink liquid lipstick and pressed that into my lips for a nice natural flush. Nothing over dramatic, just something super soft and a nice touch of pink basically. So that is the completed Meghan Markle makeup makeup look. This is my take on it. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's very easy to recreate at home and personally I was a huge fan. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.